are making tremendous progress. Uh, Chairman Kim has been really very open and, and terrific, frankly. President Trump tonight banking that his personal relationship with Kim Jong-un will kickstart the effort to get the young dictator to give up his nuclear weapons. The president today making a dramatic announcement. We will be having a second summit in the not too distant future. This isn't the first time he's made the promise of a second summit. In August, the Trump team hinted strongly that a second meeting could come soon. But talks broke down. A planned trip by Mike Pompeo to Pyongyang was canceled by President Trump. Since then, North Korea has returned American remains from the Korean War, and the South Koreans have pushed for more peaceful dialogue. Make no mistake about it, the conversations that we're having are important. They're, they're putting uh, the opportunity to complete the denuclearization in place. Tonight, veteran diplomats and security experts are divided, some saying Kim has done little to earn a second meeting with the president. On the key issue of denuclearization, there has been no progress. Rather, all the indications are that they are continuing producing nuclear material. There are strong indications that since their June 12th summit in Singapore, Kim's regime has produced more fissile material for nuclear bombs. The North Koreans haven't turned over any significant inventory of the weapons and facilities they have. And they failed to commit to letting UN weapons inspectors into the country. President Trump's own CIA director spoke today of how tough it will be to get the dictator to give up his nuclear arsenal. They have stated that they believe it is uh, essential to their regime's survival. So uh, I believe that the North Koreans view that their capability as leverage, and I don't think uh, that they want to give it up easily. Still, top U.S. officials tell CNN it's the two leaders themselves who will have to close the deal. And some analysts believe now is precisely the time to engage again with Kim. They have to do it at this point because they are right now in the most intensive exploration of denuclearization with Kim Jong-un that we've ever been in. And this is the time to test it. In the past, the North Koreans have dodged, deceived, and outright cheated on nuclear deals with America. Experts warn a second summit will put more pressure on President Trump to pin Kim down on specific measures he'll take to draw down his weapons. Have preparation, have a process that will move us step by step. Now, because we really don't want to go back to where we were a year ago. Bloody nose, uh, will totally destroy you. We don't want to go back to that. 